Hello everybody, here's my mama, and she's gonna be making stir-fried steak strips for y'all today. And that's a little bit of a tongue twister. Hopefully we <laughs> could say it correctly the rest of the video. Yeah, he's been correcting me. Because yeah. <laughs> I get tongue tied. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a pretty complicated name. Stir-fried steak strips. Yeah. But she's gonna make it for y'all now. She's gonna show y'all everything to put in there and everything that you'll need. Okay, the first thing we've done, you have to turn this on uh, medium low. And uh, you put your three tablespoons of oil in there and your, uh, I don't like that right there. I need another one. I'll take this one, I guess. Oh no, I like this one. And uh, we put our uh, beef stick, beef strips in there. Steak strips. <laughs> steak strips. What I got was I got the steak, uh, steaks, the um, beef steak. Yeah. It's, a, it's called a beef strip steak. Yeah, but well, anyway, I took, it was round. I took it and just stripped it myself and put it in here and uh, uh, seared it on each side. Then we took it off. It might be a little bit more seared, but it'll be good. I like meat, any kind of meat. <laughs> yeah, and it had a, a three tablespoons of oil in there. Yeah, and we've done that, so we, we've done, done this now. Yeah. And we'll take this off. And they're seared on each, five minutes on each side. Yeah. So then we took uh, beef bouillon and dissolved it in water. It was um, how one much cube water? and uh, two tablespoons of water. Two tablespoons, three, yeah. Okay, two tablespoons of water. And then we take this, and I, di and I didn't get my um, things again. To probably use the other side of this. Oh, well, yeah, there's that. Then we take this and put one tablespoon of um, cornstarch. Y'all bear with me. I just had some company here and we've been laughing and talking and talking about the word. And so we're gonna, I'm gonna eyeball this. I'm gonna put four of these in here. And just kind of scoop it up there, put it in there. What did I say we put in there? One yeah. tablespoon. So, and then we stir that up and mix that up. And that's a cornstarch that she yeah, just put in there. Yeah, you turn that off until we get it back. I'm going to turn it in lace. Yeah, cornstarch in your beef bouillon. You melt your beef bouillon in hot water. Then you put your uh, cornstarch in there. And then what we're going to do, in a large skillet, over medium heat it says, and we had it in between there, uh, sear your beef sticks about five minutes, like he said, on each side. Uh, mix your bouillon and your uh, in hot water until dissolved. Then mix in your cornstarch. That's what we do. So until dissolved, stir beef sticks and stir this in on it. So we're going to put this in on it, and we're going to stir it. You know, a little bit. Just get it all on the beef strips. And then you put in your green peppers, and I got a lot of them. I got different color ones. Yeah, it okay. says it called for two big green peppers, so I got a bell bunch peppers. Of them in there. These are bell peppers. They was the long ones that Milton got me, and I thought they was hot. And he said, "No, they ain't." And he started eating them. I said, "Okay, I believe you now." <laughs> and then we, Jonathan brought me a green one down from uh, his garden because they didn't have no green ones out there at Ollie's. So I'm just gonna put all that in there because I like green peppers. Or bell peppers. Stir that around in there a little bit. And then you put your stewed tomatoes. One can of stewed tomatoes. Put all that in there, juice and all. Uh, don't drain the juice. And then we're going to do our soy sauce, which is uh, three tablespoons of soy sauce. So I got this right here. That's what I was stirring with a while ago. So we're gonna put three tablespoons of this in there. So there we got that. Put all that in there. I'm gonna stir that a little bit. 
See, we put it back on medium, uh, right there, medium high. Was it medium high? I think it was, wasn't it? Uh, let me see here. We're going by the recipe here, y'all, trying to. Uh, let's go on medium high, medium heat, medium heat. Didn't say medium high, medium heat. Okay, then we stir that in. Then we have uh, green pepper, stewed tomato, soy sauce, and sugar. And it calls for one teaspoon of sugar. So we're going to get it out of here. Uh, it's a white sugar granulated. Yeah. If that's how you say it. I'm just going to use my little spoons. I'm not going to get my measuring spoons out. So, sprinkle it around in there, and then that was one teaspoon that of up. sugar. One teaspoon of sugar and salt. Just so salt is one teaspoon of salt. So I usually eyeball it, but we'll go ahead and do this. And you can can also put this in a crock pot and cook it overnight oh, for three or four hours. That's silly. Let's do it like this. I'm ready to eat. <laughs> I say that all the time, don't I? That's hard to wait three or four hours when you're hungry. Yeah. And salt, and that's it. And uh, it says uh, stir in the green peppers, stewed tomatoes, soy sauce, sugar, and salt. Cover, cook until tender, about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go over and read to you. We got that on medium. There it is, all stirred up. Yep. I'm gonna put this in here. And we'll put the lid on it. It's on medium heat. Yeah. And then we're gonna go over here and we read. We forgot something. the onions. Oh, the onions. Thank you, Corey. <laughs> I looked over there and seen them out of the corner of my eye whenever we was uh, walking I away. I should remember that because I cut them up. See, I sliced them in two, and then I just sliced them sideways to get these little ones. Yeah, and this is one onion. One onion, yeah. Thank you, Corey. You've got to keep us old people in mind, don't you? It, it pays to have two heads yeah. when you're doing something. Especially cooking, of all things. Yeah. It's always good to have a helper in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Me and Mom used to cook all the time together. Down the at her house. I used to go down there when Ben would be at work as we was on day shift. The kids would go to school and uh, I'd go down mom's in the morning to have breakfast with her and talk to her and everything and then I'd hurry up and get home for the kids to get home before they got home. Put something on for them to eat and then clean my house. They talked to her. Every time we come home from school mom, we smelled that Clorox because I mopped in Clorox. I said yeah. So that, that was my day when the kids was in school, when Milton was at work. I go spend it with my mom. So you better spend it while you can because after they're gone, you're going to wish you spend time with them. Too late then. And if you want to see them again, you better be ready to go to heaven. So there it is. We put the onions in there. Thankfully. <laughs> it's on medium heat. Yeah. Now we're going to read to you. So. I'll make sure to stay tuned for the end of this video so y'all can see what it looks like when it's done cooking the end product. Yep. We'll show it. We'll go over there and show the end product at the end of this video. So y'all make sure to stay tuned for that. See if I can find where I was reading. Here it is. Okay. I'm going to be in John, St. John, the 14th chapter. And I'm going to start with the 23rd verse. It says, Jesus answered and said unto him, and he's talking about Judas, uh, not, not this, uh, Zacchaeus, another one. Uh, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, 
whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. See, God warns us throughout the Bible not to be afraid. And then I'm going to read a little bit in the commentary. It says, Because the disciples were still expecting Jesus to establish an earthly kingdom and overthrow Rome, they found it difficult to understand why he did not tell the world at large that he was the Messiah. Jesus confronted Judas by saying that those who truly loved him would know who he was. Not everyone, however, could or was willing to understand Jesus' message. Ever since Pentecost, the gospel of the kingdom has been proclaimed in the whole world, and yet not everyone is receptive to it. I think so you say that word. Jesus says the deepest revelations of himself for those who want to truly know him, love him, and obey him. Jesus promised the disciples that the Holy Spirit would help them remember what he had been teaching them. This promise ensures the V-A-L-I-D-I-T-Y, Corey, you want know that is? Validity. About, yeah, of the New Testament. The disciples were eyewitnesses of Jesus' life and teachings, and the Holy Spirit helped them remember without talking, without taking away their individual perceptives. Therefore, we can be confident that the Gospels are accurate records of what Jesus taught and did. Also, the Holy Spirit can help us in the same way he helped the disciples. As we study the Bible, we can trust him to plant truth in our minds, convince us of God's will, and remind us when we stray from it. And he will, and we better not stray far. We better, we better not stray at all. You better stay in contact with God at all times. You know, we don't want to stray and let the devil trick us, you know. We want to stay close to God. So I'm going to pray for y'all right now. Y'all remember us too in prayer. We pray one for another, and that's the way God's people does, you know. We're in the family of God, and so we all pray one for another, you know. And uh, we want to remember, still remember Richard. He's still having a hard time. He was up today, him and Sandy, um, you know, visiting. And uh, he still can't hardly breathe. But, uh, you know, he's doing better. He's doing a whole lot better, but he still needs to hold him up in prayer. I say he sleeps a lot, but that's that's what he needs is rest, you know. So, uh, but just keep him in your in your hearts and prayers. And um, I want to pray for all our YouTube family. I want to pray for the world. I want to pray for the lost sinners. I, wa I want them to hear God calling them to repentance because God is coming back, or Jesus is coming back soon. God's going to send his son Jesus to go get his children and bring them home. So we need to be witnesses one to another to all the lost out there and, and give them opportunity to uh, repent. But here we go. Dear Lord Jesus, we just love you and praise you, Lord. We thank you for always walking with us, Lord, and teaching us, Lord, showing us your way, Lord, and helping us to see that your Bible is our roadmap to heaven one day to live with you, Lord. And we thank you for that, Lord Jesus. We thank you for loving us so much. Um, Lord, I ask you to touch each one out there in YouTube, Lord Jesus, our family, Lord Jesus, uh, that you'll touch our YouTube family, Lord, and whatever their need may be, Lord Jesus, if they're in the hospital, Lord, comfort them, Lord Jesus. Help them to feel your presence, Lord Jesus, and know that you're there with them, Lord, and you're taking care of them, Lord. Anybody that has financial problems, Lord, that needs a touch from you, Lord, I just ask you to move up on them, Lord Jesus, and help them, Lord. Help them to find the financial needs that they need, Lord Jesus. Lord, supply their financial need, Lord. In your mighty name we pray, Lord. And we know, like Milton said, there's nothing too big for you, Lord, that you can't accomplish, Lord. And we thank you for that, Lord, for taking care of the YouTube family, for taking care of all of us, Lord Jesus. And, Lord, touching the lost and opening their eyes up to you, Lord. We thank you for that, Lord. Lord, have your way in all things, Lord. Touch our nation, our leaders, Lord. We never want to fail to pray for our nation and our leaders, Lord, that they'll turn back to you, Lord Jesus, and love you, Lord, in your mighty name, Lord, because we're supposed to be a nation that uh, you love, Lord Jesus, and help our nation to turn back to you, Lord. Touch Israel, Lord Jesus. Uh, help them to find peace, Lord Jesus. Touch the military men and women over there, Lord Jesus. Strengthen them all in you, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, they're fighting a mighty, mighty battle, Lord. 
And Lord, it's it's the enemy, Lord Jesus, Satan, Lord. Uh, Lord, and we just ask you to give him the strength, Lord Jesus, to overcome him, Lord. Uh, in your mighty name we pray, Lord. But we know that you're in control and you have everything in your hands, Lord Jesus. And whatever's going to be is going to be, Lord. We just need to know that you're, you have it all in your hands, Lord, whatever it's supposed to be, Lord. And we thank you and we praise you, Lord, for being there for us, Lord, and loving us and taking care of us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. And he will. He take take care of us, you know. Things are getting pretty bad out there, you know. Uh, wars all around. Uh, and we just need to pray for the Lord to intervene, you know. But, you know, we could be living in Revelation's days. Or they said his rumors and rumors are wars, you know. And it surely is. And this is the end, you know. So we need to hold each other up in prayer that we'll be strong in the Lord. So let's go over here and see what's going on. Oh. Can you smell it out there? <laughs> Y'all got one of them smell of visions <laughs> You got a smell of vision out there? <laughs> it's cooking uh, down all these uh, vegetables in yeah. there. See how soft they're getting? I'm going to taste this now. It has to cool a little bit. But... Uh, this is what it'll look like when it's done, though. It's yeah. just about done. Yeah, it is. See how soft the, the vegetables are getting. Yeah, but Probably. this is what it'll look like. It'll be real colorful like this, too. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I'd say the, the these look a little bit tough yet. So, I say probably another three or four minutes, and they'll be fine. Yeah, unless you like them a little bit crunchy. Because oh, the yeah. meat's already done. Everything's cooked in there. Yeah. If you like them a little bit uh, crunchy or stiff, then... It's ready to eat for you, but if you like them uh, tender and soft, then they give it a few more minutes. Yeah, I'm just going to put this on here like this, and I'm going to cut it off, and it'll still heat up. You know, it won't get, it won't get too hard or too soft, you know, and then in two or three minutes, I'm going to take them off, and we're going to eat. Well, yum, yum. I guess that's all for this one. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you all still watching, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Share us to Facebook if you want to. Check out the merch shop. The link is in the description. If y'all do uh, go to check out the merch shop and going to show some support on there, make sure to type in the code. It's called Heatwave20. You type it in at the top somewhere, and it'll give you a 20% off discount on anything in the merch shop. So type in Capital Heatwave, all capitals, and then 20, and, it'll, and you'll have 20% off. But y'all make sure to check, us out, check it out on there. The link is in the description. And we love y'all, and God bless y'all, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Amen. Love y'all. For any new uh, viewers, new subscribers, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, here's the cookbook. I'll let Mama show it to you. Yeah, it's got me and one of my chickens on it. And it says, My Mama's Secret Recipe and Love. And that's what my secret recipe is love with gravy. It's coffee. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, then we got we open it up. It's got a plastic binding on it. It's made with. Um, some kind of shiny paper. It's like a call. laminated almost. Yeah, laminated almost. And there's a story how me and uh, Corey got started in uh, cooking on the YouTube. It started with my chickens. And it's got pictures of uh, me and little miss and me and Corey. And this is Corey when he was a baby with Papa and with me. And there's me and Milton when we started our Sunday message. We done it outside last summer. And uh, we had a hot dog um, community giveaway uh, down at our church. And uh, these were the people that helped me and Corey. And uh, then the rest of it here, uh, it tells the main dishes in it, what all we have in it. You see right here, so. My mama's secret recipe. This tells the um, index of it. I can't read them little ones. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. main dishes, side dishes, and desserts. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on it. But then you just go over through here, and, and it uh, shows the main dishes, and going over tells you the desserts and stuff, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's just got our recipes in it. Right here is a side dish. This is the, can't read the little writing. It's cat head biscuit recipe. Oh, cat head biscuits. That's my cat head biscuits. That's what the... One of the men called my biscuits in church because I made them so big. And uh, it's got... Um, it's got almost 100 recipes. I think it's got 98 recipes in it. 
That's why I was going to look on that. Uh, let's see. Yeah. There's 98 pages, so it's probably close to 98 recipes. Yeah. Because some of the pages are not recipes. You can tell them how many pages on each one. Yeah, it goes, uh, there's from 9 to 44 is main dishes, 47 to 70 is side dishes, and then 73 to 98 is desserts. So that's our cookbook. And we're selling them for $30 a piece. Uh, and uh, we'll pay the shipping. We send yeah. it out to y'all and we'll pay the shipping. We throw a tea and a few other extra things in there like cards and bookmarkers and stuff. We put in there extra with it and we pay the shipping and any uh, shipping cost. So it's just $30 for the book and that's it. Yeah. And you could send it in PayPal. Here's the information here. If you wanted to order one, then you could send it to the P.O. box here. You could send money order, a check, cash, whatever you want to send. That's up to you, but you send it to this P.O. box and make sure to put your address on the inside of the card so yep. we can read your address and we'll send it out to you the next day after we get it. And if you don't have uh, that stuff, if you don't have a way to send it like that, then and you have PayPal or Cash App, if you want to send it this way, that's fine too. You could send it to this PayPal or this Cash App. And as soon as we get it, make sure to put your address in the order whenever you send the money through cash app or paypal you could put your address there and we'll send it out i'll picture it and we'll send it out as soon as we get it